I'm Husna Kukundakwe. I'm 14 years old and I'm a para swimmer. I represented Uganda at the Tokyo 2020 Paralympic Games as the youngest Paralympian ever. And I'm also a disability awareness activist and I support the We The 15 Global Campaign, which is where I'm wearing this purple shirt to represent the 15% of people with disabilities around the world. Growing up, I was inspired by my grandfather, who was first an athlete in athletics. Then he became a competitive golfer and he still, in, he still keeps in sport. Seeing all his achievements makes me want to keep resilient and follow in his footsteps. I first started swimming when I was three years old at a swimming pool in my, my old nursery school. I would usually go there for fun, just play around in the water. And I went for my first competition when I was six years old. At this competition, I did my first race well. I didn't get a medal and I didn't perform, you know, like the others, but I still felt good about my race. And when it came to my second race, I was sw swapped with someone else. So I didn't get to do my race. And that girl, she won. So I felt like I had no point in doing swimming anymore. So I stopped for a while. I tried all the other sports, volleyball, basketball, netball, and I found interest in football. So I was playing main field. It didn't work out so well because people didn't pass to me the ball because they, because I was disabled. So I tried the goalkeeping, goalkeeping position because no one wanted to be there. I excelled in that really well. And that helped me find the confidence to go back to the sport that I loved the most. And that was swimming. I started slow, slowly training only on weekends. And then when it came to holidays, I would train on Mondays, Wednesdays and Fridays, you know starting slowly. And then I heard about my f classification, my first classification that was going to be in Nairobi. It was an open championship. And at first I didn't know anything about it. I didn't know what power swimming was. So before I went there, I first Googled what power swimming is. And I saw all these videos from the Paralympics and I was like, wow, how has no one ever talked about this? Is, this is so amazing. And so when I went there, I saw these other people who are disabled, I kind of felt comfortable. I felt like, you know, I can do this. People even with worse disabilities than me are doing it really, really well. While there at the Paralympics, at the opening ceremony, I was told to be a flag bearer, which was very, very honor honorable. And when I walked out holding the flag with David Emong, who is also a, an amazing Paralympian, he's a Paralympic gold, a Paralympic medalist. He's also an inspiration to so many other people, including myself. So when I was walking out with a flag with him and seeing all these people knowing that also across the cameras on the TV screens, people were seeing me, my parents, my family, my friends, they were all seeing me hold the flag. It was really amazing. And I was just really, really happy to be a part of the whole experience of the opening ceremony. I was as even in so much trouble when I didn't get back home really early because I wanted to experience the whole thing. And when I got back to the Paralympic village really late at night and the struggle of coming back, you know, with the buses, it was just a, an experience I can't, I can't leave behind. I'll always keep it with me forever. And I had lots of fun at the Paralympics and it changed something for me. It made me think about inclusion in Uganda as they were preaching about the We The 15 global campaign. We need that kind of fight for inclusion in Uganda for people with disabilities to get no more jobs to be accepted in schools and for them to stop begging on the road because that's what people with disabilities in Uganda think of themselves. So in conclusion, before I started sport, I would always hide my hand while wearing a sweater the whole day. Even if I would go out to the field and play, I would sweat a lot in the sweater, but I wouldn't take it off. But once I joined sport, I started to feel more confident in myself and I stopped wearing the sweaters all the time. I only wear it when it's cold. Also, I stopped wearing long sleeve shirts to try to hide my hand. Change starts with sport.
I would love to promote the United Nations Sustainable Development Goal number 10, which is reduce inequality for women, youth, even people with disabilities. Women need to be respected and allowed to have equal education and equal job opportunities, equal leaderships. For example, in Tanzania, the current president is a woman, which is amazing because they would have picked anyone else from the cabinet to be president, but they, they decided to let her be president and no one is regretting that decision. She's doing really well. That should inspire so many other countries to follow their lead and promote this goal. For people with disabilities, they need to be included in job opportunities. They should be not pushed back. For example, if a person with a disability goes for an interview to be an engineer, they shouldn't be seen as incapable of not doing what they, are, they want to do. They, he or she wouldn't have gone there if they did know that they could do what they wanted to do, but they went there anyway and they should be accepted and they'll surprise you and you'll even wonder why you considered the others. For, for the youth, the opinions need to be heard. Modern day problems are different from past day problems and they all need to be heard. In general, the goal is to reduce inequality among everyone so that everyone's opinions are heard and respected as well as implemented. I would love to see myself breaking world records and getting so many Paralympic medals and also ch world championship medals. I would also love to inspire so many other people around the world with disabilities, especially in Africa, to join Parasport. I'd also maybe one day love to have a posh car and nice house. But overall, I'd love to keep myself in sport and inspire so many others. Yes, I do think humanity will survive if we implement all the United Nations Sustainable Development Goals. I would request all leaders of corporations and government to support parasports and people with disabilities. I'd also like to thank the government of Uganda for supporting us throughout our journey to the Paralympic Games and at the Paralympic Games. I am very thankful for why I have reached today and I wouldn't be here with out support but i still require support in terms of exposure to participate in so many other international events in uganda people with disabilities aren't supported enough so i'm going to start up a foundation which will help these people with disabilities find out their talents find out their passions and be supported as they begin their journey of course this will require funding and i call out to all of you for your support Thank mm -hmm. you.